So you fucking knew this was a setup. <laughs> I like how there's a car right there. My ability to predict the future begins with my senses. I'm not able to predict if a bomb's gonna go off. I'm not able to predict if a government's gonna be overthrown. These things are, are beyond the realm that uh, is even possible. Um, my future predictions lie within my senses. Things that I interact with, see, touch, along those lines. Which arguably could just be a heightened intuition. It's, it's all been a little bit like, you know, trivial. Um, like fucking predicting somebody's shoes that's going to come around the corner. It's like, well, you, you might have seen his shoes before he came around the corner. So I, I don't, I'm still not convinced I'm buying it. And ev because everything's been so kind of, bleh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't have a story. I don't know what, to, what, uh, what do you want me to end okay. on. All right. I've got some. Let's talk about our waitress. Her name is Michelle, but she won't be wearing a name tag. And she won't be working here tomorrow. What do you mean she won't be working here tomorrow? Like uh, she's going to quit get fired? I don't know. She won't be working here tomorrow. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you very much. Okay, so how can you prove this to me? Why don't you just ask her? We just could go up and ask, hey, are you going to be working here tomorrow? It's, like, it's a little <laughs> awkward. Okay, how about this? Instead of just asking her, why don't you ask her if she wants to have an interview? Tell her you're doing a documentary. She wants to be an actress. I'm sure she'll be interested. Um, I, I... Go for it. Excuse Michelle, right? Yeah. I'm sorry to bother you. Um, we're doing a documentary on uh, restaurants, uh, and let me back up a little bit. Have you ever had an interest of like being on film or anything like that? Yes, I've actually wanted to become an actress. Well, here's your first step then. Um, with this documentary, we're trying to get uh, um, interviews from some waitresses, and um, we'd like to interview you as well. And then this would be an absolutely fantastic opportunity for you to get your face on screen, I guess, and to be seen. Where do we go from here? Well, I already know that, but why don't you and your little camera friends here come with me sometime, and I would like to prove it to you. Okay, we good? You got audio yeah, over there? Good. All right. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle. And uh, where do you work, Michelle? I work at Johnny's. Johnny's. Johnny's is a restaurant. Okay, I'm a so what are you, you're a waitress. How long have you been waitressing with uh, with Johnny's? About two years. Okay. Um. Do you, do you enjoy what you're doing there? Do you do you like it? Yeah, I do. Pretty pretty well paid. You know, basically, yeah. So tell me why you decided uh, to work at Johnny's. Tips are nice, and I love food. And uh, you know, sometimes people can get crabby and everything, but you just deal with them and you take care of them. And every once in a while, you know, if they're crabby, you just I'll slip them something in their food, but it's all right, you know. I think I'll probably be there for like another year and a half or so until I get a better job. Okay, so you don't plan on quitting anytime soon. No. You want to make it to Broadway, right? Not Broadway. I want to make it to Hollywood. Yes. Yeah, I've uh, I've had a girlfriend or two here and there, but. Um sort of pointless when you know it's gonna end. I think that was more so intuition. Seeing a couple things that people couldn't see. From there, that's kind of where I started to take it seriously.
How'd the interview go? Um, the interview went uh, not as well as expected. Um, there was a bit of a hiccup. Why is that? Uh, you were wrong. She is not planning on quitting on Friday. Well, She's not going to quit her job. Obviously, she said she wasn't quitting. Her boyfriend's going to kill her. predicting somebody's life on the line, we're going to do something. I don't give a shit whether you're with us on this one or not. It's, we're, we're, we're taking it. So you guys have made it. You even managed to get the girl, too. Yeah, we made it. So what are we going to do with our own boyfriend? What? What about my boyfriend? All right, so this is Future Man. He predicts the future. I don't know how to tell you this, but your uh, your boyfriend is gonna do something. Boyfriend is across the country right now. He's across the country. What's going on? Oops. What do you mean? What are you What are you doing here? Why did you forcefully take this woman against her will? Bring her out here? What, what are you doing? What the fuck is going on? No, we, we're leaving. Me and her, we're good. No, you're not. What are, you, what are you doing with that knife, man? Nobody moves. We don't want any trouble, dude. Hey, get your hands off him, man. You're not gonna do nothing with this just, camera on you. Everybody's gonna listen to me, is what's gonna happen. Just listen, just do what he says. It's a little bit more like it. You now, what want. I want you to do is set that camera down right there and tie her up. Are you serious, dude? You gotta be kidding me. I wish I was. Just do it. Just, there's rope in the trunk. Great, man. Very good. Sorry, I gotta do this to you. Are you kidding? Come on, you put your hands behind no. your back. Put them behind your back. Do you want him to die? I'm really sorry about this. Are you really? <laughs> Fuck you. She's a feisty one. <laughs> Why else do you think I Alright, get up. In the trunk. No! Your camera. Get I'm not giving up my fucking camera, dude. Do it or he dies. <laughs> what are you doing with this, man? Who do you think's gonna get framed for this? You out there? You comfortable ones? You point the finger, you say the junkie's the problem. You say the sexual deviant is the problem. You say the serial killer is the problem. You say the man that hates his fellow man is the problem. But they ain't the problem. You're the problem. The murderer, the serial killer, the taker of human life is the cure! You're the problem! Uh, dig in, get your shovel, let's go. When you're underground, only one way to go. So we hold the dirt like it's all that we know. But a, oh no, it grows and grows. Uh, dig in, get your shovel, let's go. When you're underground, only one way to go. So we hold the dirt like it's all that we know. But a, oh no, it grows and grows. Intuition, you know, it's, it starts with that.